So here at the brickyard, we are making bricks for the 17th century church tower over in Jameson Island. Uh, we started from archaeological work and, and taking original bricks, finding the dimensions of those bricks, and then having molds made that would replicate that dimension, bearing in mind the shrinkage rates of the clay, the amount of water used, and things like that. We then have locally dug clay that we add water to. Uh, the clay is mixed to a certain consistency by having folks walking through the clay or treading it. Uh, then we coat the clay in some dry sand as it's thrown into that mold to shape it. Uh, those bricks are then sun-dried and air-dried for several days to get a real good hardness to them. Uh, they're stacked and stored and allowed to continue to dry, generally under a covered space where they're protected from the weather. And that could be for weeks, it could be for months. Um, and then at the end of the season, we take the bricks we have made. In the case of the Jamestown Church Tower, we produced about 5,000 in total. We took those bricks from their covered area, their storage area. We built what's called a clamp or a type of kiln. So today, uh, we, we are firing the bricks for the Jamestown project. Uh, we've constructed our clamp or, or kiln. Uh, we have, again, about 5,000 or so bricks for Jamestown specifically that were made and dried and, and have now been stacked up. So we have this stack, which is a, about 10 feet or so tall, um, about 10 feet or so deep, and we have two fire tunnels underneath where we're, we're maintaining these fires. The bricks are, in essence, stacked in a, in a solid pile. We leave just the space of your finger between the bricks throughout the whole stack. So the heat has channels and, and ways to flow through the stack until it comes out the top. We surround that on the outside first uh, with a layer of some previously fired bricks that are just there to help keep the heat in. And then over that, we'll apply this layer of mud or clay. And that just really gets into the gaps and spaces to just seal it all up. So when you put the fire underneath, really the only place for the heat to go would be straight up and out through the top of the pile. So this is the very early on stage of the firing. It will continue to get hotter and hotter over the next several days. By the fifth day, we'll, we'll be around that 2,000 degree heat that you need to turn clay into bricks. Once we're done with this firing, we'll need to wait about a week, maybe a week and a half for everything to cool off, at which point we'll start to disassemble the whole thing. And in essence, you just tear the whole thing down until it's all gone. Um, and at that point, the bricks are ready to go. They'll be taken over to the Jamestown um, project over the church tower, uh, where some of our staff, al working alongside some contractors who really specialize in historic masonry work, um, together we're you know, going to be go ahead and, and do the preservation, the stabilization, the restoration work that'll be going on.